guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install a 220 switch, a double pole toggle switch, or an interrupter. Um, this is what it looks like right here. You have your, you can see right there, you have your line and your load, so the two bottoms are the line and the two tops are the loads. Um, it says 120 to 277, so I don't really know the scenario for 120. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, so I won't mention what I think it might be, because I think I've done these before, it's been a really long time, but um, I'm going to show you the 277 application. Basically, it's the boxes that I made up um, the first day I was here. So. Um, you have your, let me try to remember, so this wire right here is the switch leg, which is these two right here. If you just follow the wire, comes in right here, and then you can see that these are the two right there, and these are my power wires. So these will be on the line screws, and these will be on the load screws, because line just stands for power, and load just stands for basically what's being turned on. And in this case, it's this unit right here. It's just gonna be a disconnect switch, so when they're working on it, they can just turn off the power right here, and then they can service it, so they're safe. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like, how to do that, so basically I'm just gonna cut the ends of these a little bit shorter and then strip them, and then I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so I went ahead and got these stripped out, all five of them. And then I'll go ahead and show you what the switch looks like here in a second. RC. You are going to want to remove these ears though right here on the plug so you can put the cover on if you're doing industrial rays, which I'm pretty sure you will be if you're doing commercial. But uh, you want to rip these off if you're putting them in the cover right there. So uh, you just basically grab them with pliers and wiggle them back and forth. So I'll go ahead and skip that. Alright, so I went ahead and took these and stuck them on there. They have these little clips. So basically you just stick the wire in and then screw it down and it compresses the wire in there. So you don't have to hook them or anything around the screws. So I took, go, went ahead and took the load side, put that on the load right there. And then the top is the line coming in. Actually these are tied together. but. Um, so I went ahead and um, tied those down there. I'm going to tighten it up with my screwdriver just to tighten it, make sure it's tight here in a second. I'll skip that and then I'll show you how to put the cover on. So what you want to do next is take these screws out so the cover can sit flat and you can also reuse them. But they also come with screws in the cover package. So you can use either one. Sometimes I use these ones, which I'll probably do. But then I want to throw a piece of tape around it just to be safe. You don't have to, but it just gives you a safety factor. And sometimes if you have a wire sticking out the top a little bit, it's just a little bit of insurance. Just so when you shove the plug up into the box, nothing touches and sparks or whatever. So um, I'm going to throw a piece of tape around it. I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so I got my screws taken out and I got the piece of tape around it. So now we're all good. And then when I go ahead and screw the cover on real quick, and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so once you get that screwed in there, uh, you're ready to go. And then the next step is you're going to take the screws out of the box, one on each side, and then you will push this up flat and then re-screw it back in, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right guys, so here what it looks like, this is what it looks like when it's finished. Um, you just got it all screwed in there, both screws right there, and then you just want to make sure the wires are in the box um, as you're pushing it up. You want to make sure the wires are in the box, so kind of just take your hand and make sure you don't feel any wires on the outside of the box, but be careful. Don't like drag your finger on this because this will slice you open probably, so just kind of lightly touch it, feel around, so make sure there's no wires, and then you're good and you're done, so and then your on and off switch so anyways guys that'll do it all right guys thanks for stopping by i highly appreciate it thanks for watching the video hopefully you enjoyed and uh hopefully you enjoy the channel uh thanks to all the new subscribers and uh if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button it would help me out and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content and if you want to help support me i'd appreciate that 
Um, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. God bless. I will see you later. Try to make a Corvette video over the weekend, but probably not likely. I'm going to be pretty busy again. So uh, I'll shoot for Monday or Friday of next week if that's possible. So super slam these days and don't have much free time, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Corvette is still broken. So uh, trying to get that figured out. I'm just sick of it. So anyways, hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend and I will see you guys back here soon. And uh, I'll try to update you with some other videos or whatnot. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for all the support. Peace out.